Hi, this is Christina here, and today I am reviewing the Love's Not Dead 2-Pack with Goulier Yelps and Slow Mo. I am so excited to have this set. Um, if you've been watching this channel at all, ever, <laughs> you know that Goulier is my absolute favorite Monster High character, and that I collect all of her dolls. I have every single Goulier doll, and Slow Mo is definitely one of my favorite boy dolls, probably my favorite. Um, and this will actually be my third Slow Mo, so I have all of them too. And I was so looking forward to this two pack because I really think that Gulia doesn't get nearly enough dolls, and she definitely doesn't get a lot of like fancier, kind of like more exciting dolls, I don't think. Um, with the exception of Sweet Screams recently was great, but you know, this upcoming season. You didn't really see a lot of Gulia for 2015, so I'm really glad that this um, two-pack happened. And I did find it at Toys R Us in Hamilton, Ontario. Um, I believe it's a Toys R Us exclusive. And my local Toys R Us didn't have it, but we were out with a friend and checked into a different Toys R Us, and there it was. Um, one thing to note is there was a full case on the shelf. There were six. And I had to look really carefully, not at Gulia, but at slow-mo. Mo's face had smears and black smudges and s stuff all over his face and all of them pretty much. Um, so I would caution you um, about ordering this one online maybe. I would maybe not and see if you can find it in person if at all possible just because um, I'd hate for you know to order it online and have you get one that's kind of a mess. So yeah, um, here it is. It is so cute. I love the art. I'm just like, I'm, I'm obsessed. I love how, like, I love that Ghoulia looks so much like her cartoon, like her webisode self to me here, you know, with her kind of like her little underbite and they look so like kind of dopey in that like zombie kind of way, which I just, I love. I think it's, I think it's adorable. Um, <laughs> and I'm actually going to, um, I actually didn't make a video about it or anything or even a blog post, but I made Gulia a bedroom set on one of my shelves. Like I made her a, a desk and a bed and I have a wardrobe that I'm working on for her and uh, I made her bedding and all that stuff. And I think I'm going to scan this art and like shrink it down so that she can have like a f little framed picture of her and Mo at prom um, on her nightstand or something, which I think will be fun. Um, yeah, and interesting to note as well. Um, on the top here where it would normally tell you if there, that there are stands inside, there's no, there's no picture there. So I know that this doesn't come with stands. Um, people have been talking about it, um, since the it set came out, but also it doesn't tell you anywhere that it comes with stands. So I have a lot of stands, um, just from having so many dolls, but I get why, especially a set like this, I feel like probably should come with stands. All the other two packs do, but this one doesn't. Um, so be prepared for that as well. Uh, but uh, without further ado, I'm going to get Gulia and Mo out of the box and we're going to have a look at them. And I'm so excited. They're out of the box and I love them. Um, I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with Gulia because ladies first, right? So um, this is Gulia here and she has, um, <laughs> I just, I really, I really like her. Um, firstly, her hair is in this like incredible like beehive kind of thing and it's pretty tight, kind of like a, it's like a cone on her head a little bit. Um, and I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it definitely fits with Gulia's kind of like vintage like retro vibe that she has, like 50s and 60s kind of inspiration. So I really like that. Um, and then in it there's this large black uh, hair ornament with like a, it's like a flower with a red brain in the center. And obviously there's a lot of styling products in this hair, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it exactly like this because I love it. And it'll never go back like this if I try to <laughs> try to do that. So not going to happen. And then she is wearing, um, her glasses are, are a little bit different this time. So they're made out of, let's take them off. They're made out of like a translucent blue. So the lenses and the arms are translucent blue, but then the front part is painted red. Uh, so and there's some designs on the, the wingy part up here. And I did already, I went ahead and just took off the plastic thing that's like holding them on because I'm not going to leave that on. And it was, you know, plastic tied into her head like three places and it needed to be gone. <laughs> and then her face is super beautiful. Like 
facially, this might be one of like my favorite Gulias ever. And that's saying something because I love them all. <laughs> but um, she's got like a really like smoky eye look um, right up to her brows with like gray. And then right around her eye, there's some red on the upper part and blue underneath. And then her eye actually has, instead of, um, her eyes are, are blue, but instead of having like a gray highlight underneath, um, or like a lighter highlight underneath her pupil, and the solar actually, it's like a red half moon highlight there, which is kind of different. And I think it is really cool and it makes her look very like zombie, I think. Like she's like maybe about to, to come get you, which I enjoy. I think that's fun. And then uh, her lips are bright red, pretty standard uh, for Gulia. I'd actually like it if they kind of switched up Gulia's red lips and gave her something a little bit different because um, I love like in... Um, the Fear Leading doll, she has the pink lip, which is really pretty, and then the Freaky Fusion doll has the dark blue, which is also really gorgeous on her, or the, um, the Comic Con doll that has the silver, like the gunmetal lips. All really good choices, and I would love to see her with, uh, like more, like using different color lips more often. Um, and then her earrings are hands, like dangling hands that kind of look to me like they might have bites taken out of them right there. And there's like blood dripping, which if that's the case is hilarious. And then her necklace is like a kind of like a pearl necklace choker style with uh, dangling their skullette cherries. So they're like two skullettes dangling as if they were cherries. And cherries are like a common theme for, for Gulia. So that makes sense. And then her dress is really, really cute. And I would totally 200% wear this if I could buy it. So it's like a, um, kind of has like a sweetheart neckline, but also this like mesh, um, fishnet part above the sweetheart neckline. And then it's, uh, belted with a red satin ribbon. It has blue, uh, kind of shredded tool underneath. And then the pattern is of course, um, grabbing hands and, um, heart shaped rib cages. <laughs> I just, it's so cute and it's so Gulia. I just think that it's um, absolutely delightful. Um, and then on her feet, she's wearing, these are new shoes, new shoes for Gulia. Yay. Uh, the last Gulia doll that I got didn't have new shoes. So I'm glad that, that this one does. And they're bright, bright red. And they're kind of interesting because they're sort of like, they have like a jelly kind of look to them and like feel to them. There's just something about the plastic. I'm not sure if it is different, but it feels different. I don't know. Um, and they're just, they're red with like dripping blood kind of down the front. And then the heels are this like really interesting, um, shape. They're just kind of different. So yeah, I like those. They're very, very, very cool. Let's get her glasses back on. Okay. Just going to put her over there. And then we'll talk about slow-mo. Now, slow-mo is in kind of like his version of a tux. Um, now first uh, we're just going to talk about um, up <laughs> his face and hair first. So his hair is the same basic kind of style as the other slow mos the sort of like um, straight up and down paintbrush kind of deal. Um, except he has a black streak in the front here which is different. And then his face, he actually has this like dark mask around his eyes, kind of like um, and I don't think it's supposed to be like makeup or anything, but it kind of looks like it makes him look a little bit more sunken, um, which I dig. I think that's cool. Uh, makes him look a little bit, a little spookier, which I'm always down for. And then outfit wise, I know a lot of people are, have been kind of complaining about the fact that he comes in like this tuxedo t-shirt and not like an actual suit jacket or anything. But I actually think that this is really funny for a couple of reasons. One, Slow Mo is a teenage boy. And I think in particular, he's a bit of like a dorky teenage boy. And I feel like he's totally the kind of guy who would wear a tuxedo shirt to prom. And those people totally exist. And I think that he might be that kind of guy. And then secondly, I like thinking that like, okay, so there's zombies, right? They move kind of slow. We know that that's the case. We see in the webisodes and everything that, you know, Ghoulie has got her scooter so she can get places quicker and um, whatever. And I feel like, wouldn't it like take forever for a zombie to get dressed in like a full tuxedo with the waistcoat and the jacket and the bow tie and all that stuff. He'd be like three weeks late for prom, right? 
So I think that that's kind of like, yeah, I mean, the decision was probably made so they only had to make them like one piece of clothing, but I'm okay with it because I think it's funny and I can make it, I think it totally fits Slomo's character. So I like that. But I digress. It is this purple tuxedo shirt. Um, and then on the front it has like, where you can see the, the jacket lapels, it has a rib cage underneath and a little bleeding bow tie. And then over here on this pocket, there's a skeleton hand coming out of it. And then on the top pocket here, he has like a ripped up pocket square. And then there's a spider uh, dropping down out of his pocket. And then the hem is cut uh, jaggedly, um, not hemmed or anything. So I'm not, it might, <laughs> this might fray a bit, but I'm not going to really play with them. So it'll probably be okay for me. And then his pants are um, sort of like a crinkly sat satiny black pant with a purple tuxedo stripe down the side. And his shoes are actually sort of awesome. They're like really, really pointy toe, like big old shoes <laughs> with laces and then dripping blood down the side and spider webs on the heels. And I think that he's a really, really cool doll. And I love that. I mean, I now have three slow-mos and the boy dolls maybe don't always tend to be like as different because they don't generally get like a lot of like different hair and makeup the same way that the girls do. Um, they just don't have as many details like in that regard. Um, but I'm perfectly happy to have my three slow-mos. I think that they're all fun and different and um, this one is definitely the most like deluxe, you know, especially compared to like Ghoul Spirit where he's wearing like the t-shirt and shorts. Um, I think my favorite slow-mo is probably the Student Disembodied Council one just because I really like his Dead Fast t-shirt, but I like this guy too. And I like the face on this one maybe more because I love the dark, like the sunken eyes. So yeah, he's cool. And then um, he does also come with this bouquet of brains. <clears throat> so it's black, it has a handle for him to hold. And then there's three brains inside here. I don't know if they're meant to be like, if they're meant to be flowers or if he literally just brought her a bouquet of brains. That might even be funnier if that was just brains. And then uh, lastly, I kind of forgot, and it's, I forgot so much that it's even still in the box. So let's have a look at it together. Is the diary. Um, and I wonder what's going to be in here. Oh, cute. Okay, so first, it has um, a picture of them um, at prom, which is adorable, and I love that. And then it just has um, one page, um, sorry, one page of uh, text here with one entry from Mo and one entry from Gulia. Now. I have read the full diary that you get with the like the the single language US dolls and it's a really really cute story and I really really wish that this was the whole thing. Um, it's never going to be, I, I know that, but I really wish it had had all the information. Um, but I will find scans of the full um, like English language diary and I'll link it in my blog post down below so if you haven't read it you'll be able to find the link down, down there. Um, but yeah, so they come with a diary. And that's it. So this is Love's Not Dead, uh, Gula Yelps and Sloman Slomo Mordovich. And I love them dearly. Are they the most deluxe dolls? Probably not. If there's such a thing as like a budget or basic two pack, this is probably it. Um, you know, but that's okay. They didn't come with stands. Gula could probably use some bracelets maybe. And, you know, maybe Mo could have had like a shirt and a jacket but I'm not complaining at all because I think that both of these dolls like really really fit with what we know about Ghoulie and Slow Mo and I love the story um, that I read in the diary. I think the art is phenomenal and I'm just so happy that they got one of these couple two packs and that I have them in my hands right now. So <laughs> that's really it. And so if you want to see um, photos, details of all of these, of both of these dolls, um, you can find a link down below in the description bar to my blog, um, which is christinearticulates.blogspot.ca. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. I'm Christina Articulates absolutely everywhere. And all of those links are down below too. 
And so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to see more. And if you do, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.